Welcome fellow entrepreneurs. Today, we are demonstrating Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store. I'm Steven and you are in for the digital marketing tweeting to tax press. Now, let's kick things out by understanding the conversion tracking. Now, why conversion tracking is the secret sauce of a successful Google Ads campaign? Well, the conversion tracking, it's like having a GPS for your actual ads. It tells you where your sales are coming from, everything you needed to know about your um, elements, uh, depending on what you're actually trying to sell. Uh, really great, right? So let's set up a conversion action in Google Ads. Now let's dive into Google Ads and set up those crucial conversion actions. Now we'll navigate through the Google Ads interface together so you can create conversions to action tailored to your Shopify goals. If you don't have Shopify, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started and start to sell today. So once you have your account here to Shopify, once you create your website here, uh, you might be seeing here the dashboard into Shopify. So you're going to leave this like that. I'm going to open a new tab and go for ads.google.com. You're going to need a Google account in order to continue. You want to choose the option that says start now. Now this one should be sending you directly into the ads.google.com sign up business section where you can start by signing up and creating your very first campaign. So you wanted to add business information, create your ads, set it up your budget in order to start your very first campaign. For example, what is your business name? Let's say for example that we are starting with something like for example, if we go for and here, where should people go after clicking your ad? What I wanted to do is to go directly here into my Shopify. Let's go into the settings and here let's focus directly into your uh, domains. Now here into domains, what you wanted to do is to buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. So uh, I'm going to go here and by default, uh, I do have this custom URL. So what I wanted to do is to copy this one and paste it here. So let's go into next and the URL is being reviewed. So as you can see, there's a LinkedIn account here. There is a Google Motor Center account and you can link this if you wanted to. In my case, I'm not going to do this at the moment. I'm just going to get into next and choose your goal for this campaign. In order to get started, um, let's say for example that I wanted to get started by making some buys or product or service. So I choose this option or brand awareness. That is totally optional. Now I change my campaign type. And here I'll see, for example, that I wanted to display stuff. I hit into next and we are actually good to go. Now here's the campaign settings. Now what we want to do is to leave this like that, go back here into Shopify and let's integrate Google Ads with your Shopify. This is time to bridge the gap. Let's integrate Google Ads seamlessly here by going directly into the X mark. I'm going to go into applications and here into apps. What you want to do is to only type Google. Now, Google here is going to be showing you a lot of applications directly into the App Store of Shopify. You want only to focus into this one. It says Google and YouTube. So you hit into install the application, do you grant the access and then you are inside the Google uh, section on the sales channel. If you want to, you want to pin this into the navigation bar so you don't miss this anymore. Now, as you can see here, we have the overview, the settings, the help center, and that will be actually it. So what you wanted to do is to get started by importing your Google account, just connect them. And as you can see, my Google Motion Center account has not been successfully um, uh, already been added here. Usually there are more information, more websites, for example, the one click Google ads tracking conversions. But here you don't want to focus a lot in that uh, because basically what you just did before here into the Google ads is to add all your website Shopify information directly with your URL. Simple trick, if you wanted to, let's say, display this only into Google, for example, or into YouTube, what you can do is to use the sale channel that we have just installed. For example, the Google and the YouTube. If you go directly into the overview, you want to scroll all your way down until you find the YouTube shopping, as you can see here it is, or you have the local inventory to sell this directly into Google. So this is something really, really easy to get started with. Usually what everybody does here into the Google Ads is because um, you want to sell into more than one place. Today, let's focus into making the conversions, but inside the Shopify. 
So if I sell this directly into YouTube, for example, you're gonna hit into get started, the YouTube channel requirements we need to be approved for monetization based in the legal country, 1000 subscribers or an official artist channel, not made for cats, those can violate the monetization policies and no hate in speech strikes. So hit into continue and choose a channel where you can just get started. Just focus into the Google Ads account. Now, as you can see, since we already have a display campaign created, if you go back into your Shopify dashboard, you might see that the Google Ads account here, it's already been created. So really important to do that process before. I'm gonna hit into connect. And what this actually stuff is gonna be doing here is to connect my Google Ads account directly into my Google inside the Shopify. So as you can see, here is my campaign already been connected. Now, since this is a welcome coupon claim, we can spend 7,000 MX into Google Ads and the next uh, 60 days, they're gonna be getting us 7,000 into an all credits. So you can create a new campaign. So we have set it up a performance review for our Google Ads. Everything, every campaign that we have just created is gonna be appearing at the end here. And as you can see here is an actual campaign that we could just started with another uh, Google account. You can see the here's impressions, the view, the average cost per view, the view rating, and all of that. So if I wanted to import all of this, you might see it's gonna be really, really easy just by going back here. You create your campaign, and here into the modes in the center, what's going to happen here is that all this information should be displayed in here. Now, since we already have a Google Ads account already been imported, uh, all the information should be imported from the other account. So what I needed to do is to create a new one to import all my conversion tracking from my Google Ads directly into my Shopify. But if you ask me, I believe it's much more faster to see all the information about Google Ads directly into the overview of your campaigns into the low power it says campaigns, go directly into the insights and reports, and you should see all the information about your custom ads. So before you wrap up, just make sure everything is in order. Verification and testing are our final steps. We will verify our setup, run some tests, ensure that your Google ads are tracking conversions accurately. Sometimes uh, between the first seven days, you might see that there's absolutely nothing to show because the ads are just getting displayed. So you want to wait a few uh, dazed after the 30th days. And well, congratulations, you have mastered Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more marketing insights, hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Your ads are now equipped with a powerful tracking mechanism. Remember that you have the link down below in the description so you can all get started with Shopify. So keep optimizing, keep growing. Until next time, happy advertising.